on to seven star boxing. Difficult set, lots of complexities, very, very uh, effective full body uh, workout in terms of both coordination, strength, flexibility, breath control. There's so much going on in seven star boxing. So let's try this out together. So I'm gonna start with my hand with my back turned and our feet are close together. So that means we're gonna have our opening where we're rising the hands up in the front. So we're lifting those arms up and they're gonna kind of break like a wave around shoulder height and start to settle. As they settle, we also settle into the hips and we bias our weight into the right leg so we can step out wide with the left and then we settle our weight between the legs. First motion, we're gonna open the chest. We're gonna pivot in towards the left leg. We're gonna roll back into the right and we're going to close the chest with the backs of the hands touching. I'm gonna drop those arms. We're gonna lift the arms. We're gonna brush against the leg and crane. Then we're gonna squat down a little, reach out that right leg on a diagonal out to the side and forwards. We're gonna push up out of that back leg. We're gonna fold into the front hip and we're gonna reach out. Now we really wanna settle in that left hip as we draw back to post. We're gonna carry that post to the center and then we're gonna close down. So we're gonna go on the other side. So we're opening the chest and moving into the right leg. We're closing the chest and settling back into seven star. Backs of hands touch, drop the hands. Now, as we lift the hands, we draw up into crane stance. We brush against that leg. We squat down, step out wide and long, and then reach up and over. Really fold into that right hip and extend into the back heel. And then settle, roll that back into post, carry it to center and down. Section number two, pillar between heaven and earth. We draw up, we create, like we've been talking about that sense of being the mountain, everything big but settled in the ground. Now we draw up from the roots. We extend out, we wanna hinge back into the hips and down. You don't have to go too low, but you wanna sink in your hips and settle to the ground if you can. Pick up from the ground, slowly pushing up from the ground. We're gonna turn over the hands. We're gonna open the chest. Engage the shoulder blades towards one another. And we're gonna come right up onto the balls of the feet. And then we'll settle and close back down from section two. Good. Section three. In section three, we're going to sink into the left hip, turn and reach out with the right arm. We're gonna come back, we're gonna sink into the right hip and lift and reach out with the left. We're gonna come back around, lifting with the left hand high. We're gonna turn in with the right leg. Right hand comes around and we wanna finish holding the ball over the left leg with the crane, left leg high and crane stance. Then we're gonna squat and step out to our forward bow stance. Now we're gonna do a 180 degree turn. So we're gonna rock back. We're gonna open the arms. We're gonna turn in. And as we settle in the left leg, we're gonna close the arms and lift up into a right leg crane. And then settle and step into your forward bow. And here comes the dragon poses again. So we're gonna twist. We're gonna rock back. We're gonna turn in. Arms are kind of opening as we turn in. We're gonna lift up that left foot. We're gonna turn out the left foot. We're gonna pivot on the ball and the heel as we twist around. We're gonna to go to the top of the right foot. We're gonna twist and look over the left shoulder. Now we drop the left arm. We let the, we get, kind of getting underneath the right arm as we unwind. 
and we hang to the left side. Then we hang to the right side. And then we bring the arms up and we close back down. And then we start that opening again. So weight in the left, reach with the right. Weight in the right, reach with the left. Reach over the head as you turn and weight the left leg. Turn in with the right. Again, picking up that left leg and into a crane stance, holding the ball, squatting a bit, stepping out, square up the hips into forward bow stance. Now we do the dragon again. So we roll back, turn in, lift up that right leg, turn out, pivot on the ball and the heel as you twist around, fingertips in towards center and we're looking over the right shoulder. Now we're gonna unwind, dropping the right arm and unwind, unwind to your doing a, a side bend to the right side, then over the head and a side bend to the left. So right hand high, leaning to the left, and then both hands up and settle in the front. Section number four, opening and closings of the chest, forward bends and back bends. So we're going to cross the arms, we're going to push out in the front. We're going to squeeze back the shoulder blade and scoop into fists. We're going to hollow the chest, cross the arms again. We're going to pull open in the front. We're going to reach for the backs of the legs and forward bend. So we're using those arms like vines are kind of creeping around the legs and helping us to draw down into our forward bend where we release the head, the soften through the spine, then release the arms, chin to chest, and we roll up from the ground. As we come upright, we're going to cross the arms, closing in the front. We're then going to push out again. We're gonna squeeze back with those shoulder blades. And this time we're going to settle through the shoulders till we can touch the legs and we're gonna do a back bend. We're gonna take our sternum up to the ceiling or throw it up to the ceiling. And then settle the ribs, reach out to the sides, lift up those arms. And down in the front. Okay, section number five. Opens the same as section number three. So we're gonna reach to one side. We're gonna reach with the left arm as we weight the right leg. We're gonna bring that left arm over the head as we turn in with the right leg and then pick up that left leg and hold the ball. Now here we're gonna work on some balance and some rotation of the ankle. So we circle the ankle one way, as we hold our balance, and we circle the ankle the other way. And now we have to squat down, reach that left foot behind, fold into the right hip and twist the waist so the right hand is palm down, Facing low, left hand is palm up, and we're in the gim hand. We got our fingers together, and then we push out of the ground, lift up, open up the hands again, and settle. Now, the second half of this section, we're going to do our opening going the other direction. So we're going to reach out with the left hand as we fold in the right hip, and we're going to reach out with the right hand as we fold in the left. We're gonna bring that right hand over the head. We're gonna turn in. We're gonna pick up that right leg and hold the ball. Here, we're gonna work on some balance and the range of motion in our ankle. So we circle the ankle one way. 
We circle the ankle the other way. Now we squat, step back, twist through, palm high, palm low, looking down to the left. Now push out of that left leg, come up and settle the arms. We're gonna leave the hands in gim hand. Okay, difficult balance exercise next. We're gonna open up with the arms. We're gonna draw the arms in and bring our left leg in. We're gonna step back on that diagonal, on the triangle, step back, and we're gonna roll back to the diagonal and brush the hips. We're gonna roll forward to the square as the arms come up over the head. When we're in the square, we're gonna lift up the rear leg and reach out with the hands. And now come back, weight the back leg, cross the wrists, come forward. We're gonna step up with that left foot. We're gonna step out. As we step in with the right, we're gonna cross those arms again. We're gonna step back on that triangle, step to the diagonal, we're gonna roll our weight to the diagonal and brush. Then we're gonna roll forward, square up the hip, get onto the ball, the foot, the toe of the foot, and then slowly let that foot rise up. And then settle, cross the wrists, come to the diagonal and brush, step in with the right leg, step out with the right leg, hands over the head, and let the arms settle. Now we're going to fold into a forward bend. So we're gonna hang down in the front and we're gonna bring our hands over to our right leg. Then we're gonna bring our hands over to the left leg. And now think about taking the right rib cage up towards the ceiling. So you kind of get into that side bend again. But now we do a little bit of that back bend as we open up the arms and we come around to the side bend and then we let that left hand come down the side. We bring our hands over to the left leg. We bring our hands over to the right leg. We're pushing up out of the ground and we wanna go side bend on the right side. As we come over, we do that back bend with the arms open now. And now we fold into our side bend and roll down towards the ground. We're gonna bring the hands in the middle. Then we're gonna tuck the chin and bring the hands out the sides as we roll up from the ground. We're gonna bring those hands in and the foot in. We're gonna open the hands up and we're gonna press down to settle. Hold this position for a breath or two. Scan the body, feet in the ground, head in the sky. And we can finish. <laughs> 